So this is part two. This is the next day. I refreshed up, you know, um, the joint that we were staying in, man. I mean, man, it was it was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I mean, y'all seen it. For the most part, man, online. Don't tell me that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am funny. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I'm laugh. I'm, I'm, I'm laughable funny, but I'm funny like real picky and shit. So I said, I know what I said last time. I, you know, when we was in the joint. I ain't really like it, man. The only thing that I'll say is that it has some banging hot water because all of it was gas heated. That's it. So if you like long, hot showers, perfect. Other than that, man, it wasn't all of that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to start, you know, I talk about these five-star hotels and five-star restaurants and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to, you know, get my money right. And like I said, they doubled up. Because they know that everybody's trying to vacation because of this whole COVID-19 and everybody's been stuck in the house. So they doubled up. I mean, it's, it's, it's the truth. They, it's price gouging. It's just that plain and simple. So we on our way headed to the beach. I'm going to, so I'm going to give you a, a couple more pointers. You know what I'm saying? Things that I, I forgot to mention, failed to mention rather. Um, one of them is this. Um, and it's sad to say it, but man, I, the only thing, the only people that black people listen to are, I, let me take it back, minorities listen to are white people. So if white people are doing it, then black people will fall in line. I didn't do this because I learned this from a white person. I did it because I'm a very frugal person and I like more, I like more bang for my buck. So to, this time I wasn't prepared because I didn't think about it, you know what I'm saying? But we had a whole bunch of stuff that we had to buy, you know what I'm saying? Because normally, you know, we'll just come down and, and, and go back up. You understand? But, you know, this particular time, we stayed down here for a couple of days, right? But I'm looking into these, like, they look like turtle shell um, carry carry joints, like you put on the top of your car. And, and the, the name brands are Thule, T-H-U-L-E. You'll see a whole bunch of white people with that on their cars, on their vans. Because the thing of it is, is they're smart. So they either have time sharing down here, they own, you know, a, a beachfront or something like that. And what they do is they just pack their clothes in that joint. And you know what I'm saying? They don't, they're not uncomfortable. They don't have to put things in between their legs or under their legs in the car. And they put all of the stuff, they, all of the belongings that they need, you know, that, that they need for the trip inside those top things. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to pass one. And I'll, 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 um, I'll show you exactly what I mean. But you all know, y'all y'all seen it before. I'm more than sure that you've seen those joints before. But that's the thing. Only only minorities are coming down here with, with, with little to no luggage, um, eating out every day, uh, um, 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 spending their money. And well, you don't have to. All you got to do is bang up, a, up some pots. Yo, I, you, you seen me go to the grocery stores. I, we ate. At home, well, not at home, but you know where we where we um live at, where we temporarily temporarily live at right now. Um, gas prices are extremely high over here. So the average, look at the average price of gas for South Carolina and compare the two. Right now on Myrtle Beach, I'm seeing 2.99, but the average gas price in South Carolina is 2.86. So if you drive away from the beach, you're gonna get that 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 amount. Um, like I said before, South Beach is where it's at. But what you want to do is you want to party, party, party in South Beach. You want to actually get your beach friend or your condo or whatever in North Myrtle Beach. It's going to be a little bit pricey, but get, trust me. I'm telling you, that's my word. You, you're looking at, you're looking from the outside looking in. These places look nice as hell. I'm not going to lie. These hotels, hotel rooms and the, and the high rises and, and how they get you is they'll say, you know, um, it's the beachfront. You're gonna see the beach. You're gonna wake up every morning, and but yeah, if your hotel room looks like crap, and you got roaches, some of these places got roaches. You gotta look at the reviews. Some of these places have roaches. I mean, I'm I'm glad that that where we live, where we live, that will stay where we stay at. It doesn't. You know, we had some ants. That's it, and it wasn't even much of an ant problem. You know, so you gotta be aware of that parking. 
This is what I'm about to show you. Cause I, I'm about to park so I could go ahead and walk to the um walk to the beach. It's two things, parking and the weather. Weather, excuse me, the, the weather you can't predict. We came down here to the, they, they said for this whole week it's gonna be sunny. And next week it's gonna be rain. We or my intentions or our intentions were coming down here next weekend. But it just so happened that it was like, well, sh well, damn, today is the best, the, you know, th this week is the best, you know, week to come. Pause. So I was like, all right, cool, I'm going to do that. And come to find out, look how it is. It looked like it's going to damn near rain. So these parking meters, you might want to check this out. Some places you, you could just um, park and it's just nothing but $10. You know, other joints, like inside right here, where it says P right there, they're going to charge you 20, 15 to $20. For about four, four to six hours. It's not like all day or some shit like that. Well, no, if you pay 20, I think it's all day. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta watch out for the for the parking, and you definitely have to watch out for the weather because the weather was it'll it'll switch up on you quick fast. That's just the straight up and down truth. And then traffic. That's another thing. Yo, today is Thursday, and you would think it was Saturday. That's the reason why I didn't want to come down here on the weekends. Cause it's packed now. And this is a Thursday. This is a Thursday. Like, it's so pat, man. I'm thinking about leaving early. Like, not early, like, tomorrow we're at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm talking about, like, just cutting the, 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 the trip short. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being a whole week, just stay, like, a couple of days and that's it. Because, you know, like, as as the weekend gets close, as, as you get closer to the weekend, the more people are going to be out there. That plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the traffic is ridiculous. You think you would think that everybody was off work and and everybody had this money and all of that. Now, I know you all got the, the, the income taxes and stuff like that or whatever have you. I'm not going to lie. I make under $75,000, so I got it too. And that's the reason why I know you got it. I did not plan this trip because notice, you know, I just, got my, like, I just got my shit today. And I was like, oh, shit. And guess what I did with it? It didn't go towards my trip. I already had money for my trip. You know where it went to? Rent. That's what it went to. It went to rent. It went to bills. I was able to pay my bills online, and that's what I did. And I suggest minorities, that is. I don't have to talk to Caucasians like this, and this is, this is a shame. This is embarrassing. I'm just here to tell you that I got to tell minorities. I'm not going to say blacks, uh, Hispanics, and da 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 I'm just going to say minorities. This is embarrassing that I have to tell minorities that whatever money that you get, whether it's the child, tax, the this, the that, pay your goddamn bills, man. Pay your bills. And that's just the truth. These ATM machines are a ripoff. So don't go to these ATM machines. Go to your local bank. They got Bank of America. They got Wells Fargo in North Myrtle Beach. Go to your local bank. They got uh, SunTrust as well. Don't mess with those ATM machines. They're a ripoff. They'll tell you that your card is declined and they'll charge you $2.50. That's my word. So they, they are a ripoff. Make sure that you bring cash with you because at the end of the day, what happens is you could bring cash, right? I'm excuse me, you 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 you'll say you have card. You see this dude with the green shirt? It says attended, right? He's asking for cash. He's not asking for card. So have your money on you. Have have cash on you and have some change on you as well. Because after you get out of out of the beach, you're gonna have the sand all over your body and everything before you even get to the hotel room. Go to your car wash, vacuum your ass all to from the rooter to the toot, as these country boys would say. Well not boys, well old men would say. Vacuum your ass from the rooter to the tutor. Because a lot of these hotel rooms and and and, and um like such as where I stayed at, and it wasn't a, a, it was a so-called a beach house. Where I stayed at, they required you not to wear shoes. So you couldn't even wear your shoes inside the place. Because they know that it's you got sand all over you, and then they got the the, the, the little holes in front of the um what you gonna call it? So that um in, in front of the house, so you can hose yourself down before you even um you know, go into the actual, um, a, you know, apartment or hotel or whatever they call it, beach house or whatever. So make sure you have some change on you so you can, you know, vacuum yourself and, and you may need the change or whatever. Make sure you have um, some dollar bills so when, when you, you park, everybody got to park out here. Don't, fu don't John Blaze. If this ain't the time and the moment to, to, to get lit and spend a whole bunch of money. This is what I'm trying to tell you. 
I got a lot of shit to tell you, but the, the, the main thing to tell you is, is to stay away from just spending money just for the shit of it, for the hell of it. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. You cook at home every day. Get you some place where, where you got a stove. And I know most of y'all don't even eat healthy. So all you got to do is get you a, ba- a, a pack of goddamn um, um, ground beef, some Lipton um, onion mix, a egg, roll that shit up into a ball, pause, into some balls, pause, get you some, some cheap ass Kroger bread, some cheap ass 89 cent ketchup, mustard, whatever the condiments that you want, get you a cheap ass bag of fucking fries and, a, and, and some vegetable oil, and they got all the pots and pans already there, because I know you ain't going to bring your own shit. But make it more, make it so that you could be able to come back for the second and the third time. Because that's how I do it. I don't go big. You want to know why? Because I'm pl- I plan on coming back here either before Labor Day or after. And then, of course, I'm going to Miami later on. I just got to let it die out. I got to let all these idiots out here that think they got all the money in the world because they got these little income tax checks. Spend their money. Get them out of the way and let, d- d- let everything... Um, uh, instead of it inflating, let everything deflate. Let the season change, and I'm gonna take my black ass to Miami. I'm gonna book my ticket sometime this 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 month or next month, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a good price on it because I'm gonna go like if I don't go like to Miami, that is, I'm definitely you know coming back here. But if I don't go like uh, let me see. If I don't go like in September, October, it don't make sense. It's still, you know, the season out there. But I'm going to go around like January, February, straight up. And I'm going to get my ticket. And I'm going to go down there and I'm going to have some fun. Period. It's just that plain and simple. It's nothing complicated about it. And you see that on the left hand side. I don't know if you saw that with that Mercedes Benz. They will boot your shit. Park somewhere illegal, illegal over here. They will boot your shit. See, I think some of you northerners come down here. And I'm just saying some of you northerners, some of your southerners too. Cause some of these southerners come up here and they act the fool because they're not used to they not used to you know being in a, in a in a bigger place where they at they come down here and act the fool and get fool fool and get arrested the northerners come down here act like they big timers and they get arrested so act like you got some damn sense and that's that goes for you white boys and white girls too because y'all be throwing up everywhere and, and acting a fool laid out in the middle of the street don't think they didn't want rest of your ass because you white you, they want to, yeah, yeah they're going to arrest your ass just like they arrest a black person. Act the fool up here if you want to. Just because you act that way in Charlotte or for South Boulevard, South End. And y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about because I seen y'all in action on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Y'all act like drinking it out, outside and smoking weed is perfectly legal. Act the fool if you want to. See, I'm the one to be real with you. I'm going to tell you some shit that you don't want to hear. I ain't gonna try to be your father and nothing like that because in all actuality you can listen to me or not. But if you wind up in jail, don't tell him, don't, don't say no shit that went Langston didn't warn you. They they waiting to lock people up because this is a money, this is a money, listen, Myrtle Beach is a money maker for the police officers and and, 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 and anyone that owns a business. And the, and the police officer officers are in the business of what? Locking your ass up. For numbers. So I'm going to stop running my mouth like that. Because y'all don't want to hear it. You know you want to be on vacation. You want the lolly dolly and shit. And you wonder why these, these so called. Uh, uh, organizations or cults. Or whatever you want to call it. Secret societies exist. Because you allow them to exist. You want to live in oblivion. So it's links. And why you being so hard on us. Tell us about the beach and more of the. The, the stuff that's gonna blind us and get us away from reality. This is a reality. What's for what's 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 for free around here? You see these little buggies on the left hand side? I know you can see them. I'm gonna make this turn right here because I'm about to park somewhere around here. You see these these little buggies right here? You could rent these. It's fun, isn't it? Look at everybody. Everybody is on one. That course, man. Man, that course. See this joint right here on the left hand side? Ripley's, believe it or not. Go in here and see if you could get in for free. This is the reality. But see, you're not concerned with that. You're just concerned about spending money. Spending up your tax money. 
and then bitching and complaining and crying and asking everybody else for a handout by what September September after you spent all your shit the fuck up. You at owe everybody. Then you go get a what? What is it them payday loans? Just get out of here, man. I know it. I know it because I used to be the dumb idiot. And I learned my goddamn lesson long goddamn time ago. And then he parking nigga. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry for saying that. You better tell me a price. Cause I'm I'll back the fuck up quick. How much? How much? That's too much. Shit, 15 for two hours. You got your fucking mind. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I'm cheap. I know it's a place up here. I don't know if they changed up. I'm going to go to a couple places. If I got to pay $15, guess what? Everybody cha- pay, um, I'm charging $15. $15 for, for two hours? How much? How much, man? How much? How much? Ten bucks. For the whole day? How long you gonna be here? Probably about five hours. Twenty dollars holiday. You be all day long, man. How much is ten for? It's like three hours. That's like five. Man, listen. I do 15 for about five hours. I don't know. I do 15 bucks down. All right, I got you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna roll up my windows real quick, and and I'll. Be... Okay. Just spot me. If, um, not spot me, but give me a five. I got 20. Okay. There you go. All right, no problem. That's what I'm talking about. 15 all day. Fuck what you heard. Let's go to this goddamn beach. Y'all think I, y'all think it's a fucking game in here. Y'all think it's a game. Shit. All day. That means I can stay all day, all night. But I'm not going to stay that long. This dude talking about $15 for two hours. Get out of here with that. Let's go. Let's go see this beach, man, before it rains. Let's go. Yo, so we, we, we in here. We in here. Yo, let me tell you something. If you a vlogger, you know what I'm saying? Or if you want to record or whatever have you, you got a camera. I got my GoPro 7 right here. You know, I got the, the Galaxy S21 Ultra, but I mean, I ain't trying to record. I don't, I don't have a stabilizer for it just yet. It has a built-in stabilizer in the camera, I mean, in the phone, but I don't want to use it, man. I just want to do the GoPro. The GoPro is way more better. But if you got like a camera or whatever and a microphone, like I got the Rode my, um, wireless microphone and people are looking at me like I'm crazy, if you if you if you a vlogger and you care about what everybody else think about you carrying a camera and all of that, you stupid. You stupid. You better record your shit, cause everybody else is doing it. They recording pictures. They doing what they doing. You know what I'm saying? You minding your business. You doing what you got to do. So I'm gonna show y'all. They go to Carousel right there, and then this is the whole. This is the main strip right here. I'm gonna show y'all this joint. Show y'all the the. the the water and all of that and then I'm I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I think I I I did I did my just do when it comes to Myrtle Beach. I got so many videos on Myrtle Beach, so if you feel as though that I did an incomplete video, I ain't show y'all enough or I I wasn't <laughs> I didn't do this and I didn't do that. I mean check out my other ones. If you don't, then go somewhere else. It's that plain and simple. I'm gonna I got my vacation. This is this is a mini vacation for me. I'm not gonna ruin it by recording all throughout my vacation that's crazy you wouldn't do it for me that plain is simple so this is the main interest you know what i'm saying and you know you got like i said the carousel right there you got other rides that's over, over there you got food all of that like I, this is a thursday man it's windy i forgot my little little black fuzzy thing you know what i'm saying it feel like it's gonna rain it's not sunny but for those that haven't been to Myrtle Beach, man, I'm telling you, you need to come. Pause. I'm trying to cuff my um, microphone so y'all won't hear the, the wind. I got the GoPro so I could go in the water. Because it's like, it's waterproof. Look at this joint, man. The sand, the sand is all nice.
in the, in the beach, it stretches for miles. Plus, I want to eat too. That's another thing too. We got a, we got the cooler up ahead. The fam don't like to be recorded, so I'm the only one that that you know that 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 don't mind. But the fam don't like that, so I can't show you the fam because I get cursed out. Even the children, they be like, get that camera away from me. Hopefully, don't nobody say nothing to me. Because out of the other times that I've came, I had to always, like, um, basically, like, edit people out. People want shout outs. They see a camera. What, you got a YouTube channel? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. Can I be in it? No. <laughs> Sometimes I be like that. You just, you, you just gotta catch me, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm dead ass. Sometimes I be like, nah, nah, I can't. I can't do it. That's there go that bungee jumping shit that I won't get on. Yo, let me tell you something. As a black man, <laughs> it's dangerous getting in. <laughs> Yo, it's not funny, but it's serious and don't laugh either. Cause I'm telling you, if, I, if you laugh, I'm, co I'm coming to get you, see? It's, it's, it's hard staying away from them dudes. And when you get behind a wheel, see, they all, they all nice and polite at the beach. Well, some of them are, others are asshole. I'm talking about the, your mans in them. You know what I'm saying? They all polite and shit at the beach, but once you get behind that, that wheel, <laughs> boop, 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 that's the sound of the police. Boop, boop, that's the sound of the, need I say more? Beautiful, baby. It looks even better when it's sunny. And it's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's just white people out here. It's white people, black people, Mexicans, all of that. So it's a very diverse beach. You ain't got to worry about people telling me, telling you you don't belong here and all the rest of that. You know? You know, pull a Hassan Campbell if they do. Rock your snot box. I'm going to rock your snot box. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. Those hotel rooms, the chicks is out there, the dudes are out there hanging on that little balcony and shit. And you thinking, oh man, I wish I was in one of them. Them hotels is crap. I'm telling you, this is my word. I'm not even lying, I ain't making it up. One year I had to use the bathroom real bad. Let me turn it around. One year I had to use the bathroom real bad, right? I went in one of them joints. Never again. Never again. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it is, this, is not, this is not Miami. But I'm gonna tell you, if you had a little bit more palm trees and the water was like blue, blue, this, is the, this water right here is like algae green, bluish like. But if you had like the water was clear blue, the sand is a wrap. It's just like Miami sand, but Miami sand, sand is a little bit more thicker. You know what I'm saying? This would be Miami, but it's not. That right there is the pier. That's what people go fishing at. I've said this a many times before. And then they got like a restaurant and all that overpriced food and shit. I've never ate there, so I can't really talk about it. Um, oh, one other thing. I'm pretty sure you all know this because you, you all, you know, I've been to the beach before. These little birds, pigeons, you know what I'm saying? If you got food, best to get away from them because they will come, That's ha it's happened to me. They'll come and try to eat your food while you're not watching. That's my word. Did I leave anything else out? Yeah, man, this is beautiful, man. Come down here for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy yourself. And then, you know, go home and go back to your nine to five. And it's that plain and simple. Let me walk up to this water and then we're going we're gonna to conclude this joint. Ain't going to be no part three, part four. It's like I said, you know, I'm on a mini vacation. I say many because I'm like three and a half hours away, you know, so I could come down here any, any, at any time by myself with family, all of that. So this ain't really a vacation for me to be real with you because it's too close to home. It's too accessible. I think vacations is like eight hours away. Vacations is like when I'm with the um, Nevis and um, the West Indies. That's a vacation. Beautiful, man. I gotta watch myself because I remember one year I dropped it. I dropped my phone, my, not my phone. I dropped my camera. 
right? And like I said, the GoPro is like, it's waterproof, but the microphone is not. So I was ass out of a microphone. Oh man, this is beautiful, man. I want the sun to come out, man. Yeah, I'm, I want a joke. I want to tell one joke before I leave, but it's a mean joke, straight up. I'm gonna let you know ahead of time, it's a mean joke. Don't get me wrong, I, you know, I got my battles with weight too. But let me tell you something, it's a lot of that. Yo, listen, I had to record this because the sun is out and it looks totally different. Hold on, let me show you what I got in my cooler real quick. This is my little setup. I got my, my tent and all of that. It's my cooler. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me show you. Right there, see that? That's my wild rice, my vegetables, and all of that. I'm gonna eat that later on. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, man. Look at the water. Totally different, isn't it? Oh, snap. I gotta put on some goddamn flip flops. The sand is hot. I gotta go all the way around, because, like I said, the, the, the fam don't wanna be recorded. Oh! Okay, this is better. Let's go see this water real quick. I apologize for saying what I said about that that lady. I had to edit the whole thing out because I was I wasn't right. So it was a part that y'all didn't see that I just I just cut out. Let me show y'all the water real quick. Don't it look different from a couple minutes? Well, a couple minutes for me, for but a couple seconds for y'all. Look at the water. And I know why it's this clean, because guess what? Humans stayed inside for a whole year. So it wasn't no defecation in, inside the, the water. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't nobody defecating. No, was, nobody wasn't peeing in it. Their toxic piss. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wasn't polluting the water. That's what I'm saying. This is beautiful. Woo. Yes, that's why I say Myrtle Beach is the best East Coast beach aside from Miami and Daytona. You know, on the Florida beaches. This beach is the best East Coast beach that you can you can go to. For real, that's why I go to it. This is it's um, accessible for me. Three and a half hours away from me. So just in case if I don't want to, um, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much, like spend the night, I don't have to. Cause I'm three and a half hours away. It's beautiful, man. Let me go enjoy myself. I showed y'all enough. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take it easy, man. I'm gonna give me a 10, even though I don't need one. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's take it easy. Later.